I am driving to the airport 8.30 at night to get night current and just take a much needed short flight. I think this is the first time I've flown solo since I got my certificate. I've been taking people for rides, I've been working on getting checked out on the RV-12, taking trips. I have not had any chance to just practice flying since I got my certificate. I haven't flown in the Cherokee in over a month. I have not flown in the dark since I did my night training. I've never flown at night solo. I acknowledge that there are some hazards tonight. So what I've been trying to do is just mitigate those hazards to the extent I can. So I have been reviewing in my mind as I'm driving. I've gone through the entire plan. Um, I've made, practiced saying everything I'm going to do. So I've talked about, you know, I'm going to the run up and then this is what I'm going to say on the radio. This is the altitude I'm going to climb to. This is the speed I'm going to climb to. This is when I'm going to lower my first notch of flaps. And I've just for, visualize myself going through the entire pattern. Other factor <laughs> affecting tonight's flight is that I am pretty much out of flying money for the month. I keep a really strict budget. I actually use a separate bank account for all of my flying. I have about $80 left this month to fly, but also I think that's all I need. I just need to fly. And if it's short, that's fine. I think that this is one of the keys to being a cheapskate and a pilot is taking these little short flights like this. Um, my goal is just do three takeoffs, three landings, and that's it. And I think that's a good way to keep yourself current and proficient when you don't have the money to go flying, you know, hours at a time. Fox traffic, Cherokee Niner 3 Whiskey Papa is taxiing to 2 4 to remain in the pattern. Fox traffic. What perhaps I didn't expect quite as much is I do also have a sense of being back home. Just because I haven't been in this airplane in a while, <laughs> it's nice to be back. Airspeed is alive. Oil pressure is good. Fifty-five. We'll rotate. And we're flying just like that. Piece of cake. And it's all coming back. I find kind of a wide pattern, kind of on purpose, um, just to give myself a little time. Fox traffic, Jerry and I, Cruise Papa is on right down, we on with you full stop, Fox traffic. Papa is on final runway 24, full stop, Fox traffic. Okay. We're down. And as I said, we're going full stop. That was actually fairly gentle. A little flat. But fairly gentle. I feel good about that. Ready to do it again. My rollout was a little long, so I think what I'm going to do is if I can come to a full stop between, like before the halfway point between Alpha 5 and Alpha 4, then I'll make it a stop and go. But if I go past that, then I'll taxi back. Here we go. Airspeed live. Oil pressure is good. Five, rotate. And we're airborne. Sending them to the abyss here.
Okay, <laughs> surprised me a bit when I hit. And I stopped by Alpha 5, so I'm happy with that. Fox traffic, Cherokee through Whiskey Papa is going to depart out to the west. Fox traffic. Just doing a smidge and a sightseeing. I'm just taking in the views. Gonna do a 360 here. Do all the lights. Enjoy the peace and quiet of flying at night. And then we'll go back in. Kind of magical. Perhaps the first time that I've flown just to fly without really any sort of agenda. Not taking anyone else, not practicing anything, not training. Just flying. But it's time to go to sleep so I can go to work in the morning. So we'll head back. Nice and slow though, I'm not in a rush. I have not heard a single person on the radio the whole time. I'm the only one out here. Oh, it's like riding a bike. Oh, there's some, certainly, something to decide to be for being current and flying often. But, I'm flying better than I thought I would. Feeling more comfortable than I thought I would. Got right back into it pretty well, I'd say. <laughs> I should have said that after the last landing, though. Dinks myself. How about that? Live through all three of the landings. Okay. Oh shoot, I forgot the gas. Dang it. It's true what they say, but you know, you don't fly for a while and you just kind of forget the procedure. I'm glad that the procedure that I forgot was not important in terms of safety. <laughs> but I forgot to get gas, which uh, since this is a club airplane, every time you're done flying you have to fill it back up. And I totally forgot. It's cheaper if you forget to fill it up, but the uh, next person to fly might get a little mad at you. I'm so glad that I did that. I feel just much more confident now and relaxed, and I don't feel like, oh man, it's been so long since I've flown. Um, it was a confidence booster to see that, hey, I, I still can fly an airplane. That's not to say that I shouldn't keep trying to be current and that I don't still need a lot of a lot of practice and there's plenty of room to improve but it was good to get out and fly and be like okay yeah I can do this one of the best parts is that since it was such a quick flight I I was actually able to log an hour due to all the time taxiing and idling and the taxi back and everything but my club bills on tack time I only put half an hour on the tachometer because the engine was usually running at a pretty low rpm and I only burned like three and a half gallons and gas is under six dollars a gallon now um, so I ended up spending about fifty eight dollars for that flight and I'm gonna say that that was money well spent so got to stay current didn't take too much time didn't take too much money I think these short flights are the way to go when you're when you're flying on a budget <laughs> oh I just feel so much better it's like just a weight lifted off your shoulders